Hello, this is Numbers Lesson 4.4. In this, I will discuss how to find the remainder by expanding the numbers. Now, let's discuss first how we can expand the numbers. For example, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 6. This is a number. How can I expand this number? Can I say 78 into how many 10 power 4 is there? You can see that 4 digits are behind 74. So, we can write this 10 power 4. 23 into 10 power 2 and 46. Why 23 into 10 power 2? Because there were two digits behind 23. Or you can break like this 7 into now. How many digits are after 7? You can see that after 7 there are 5 digits. This will be 7 into 10 power 5. 8 into how many digits are there after 8? That is 4, 10 power 4. 234. How many digits are there after 234? 1, 10 power 1 plus 6. So in this way we can break. The basic concept is that how many digits after the digit you are considering that will be the 10 power. For example, 1987652837, 4, 4, 8, 10 digit number is there. 1, after 1 how many digits are there? 9 digits. So this will be 10 power 9. After 98, if you consider 2 digits, after 98 how many digits are there? After 98, there are 7 digits, so 10 power 7. Then 6, 76, how many digits are there after 76? 5 digits into 10 power 5. You can break any way you want to do it. 528, let's say next time I'm taking 528. Now how many digits are there after 528? 2 digits. So 10 power 2, then 37. So that's the basic concept of this kind of question. Another example I'm taking. For example, 81, 81, 81, 81 up to 50 digits. How can you expand this number? Can I say this 81? After this 81, how many digits are there? Total digits are 50. So after first 81, you will left with 48 digits. So can I say this is 12, 81 into 10 power 48. Now see the next 40, next 81. This 81, after this 81, how many digits are there? 46. So you can say this 81 into 10 power 46. After this 81, this green 81, how many digits are there? 44. So this is 81 into 4, 10 power 44 and so on. So this is the way we have to expand these kind of numbers. So the question will be definitely based on this, these concepts. So let's discuss the questions. This question number 1, 31, 31, 31 up to 100 digits divided by 99. What will be the remainder? Can I say that it's very difficult to find the remainder by which checking which power of this big number will give me plus 1 or minus 1 remainder divided by 99. It's very difficult to check. Now what we can do? We know that how we will get the plus 1 or minus 1 remainder when you divide a number by 99. We know that 100 divided by 99 the remainder would be 1. 100 you can see that 10 power 2 by 99 the remainder would be 1. Not only 10 power 2 any 10 power even number let's say 10 power 4 by 99 this can be written as 10 power 2 power 2 by 99 10 power 2 this 100 square by 99 100 by 99 1 1 square by 99 remainder is 1. So any even power of 10 divided by 99 your remainder would be 1 let's say 10 power 86 by 99 we can break this 10 powers 2 power 43 by 99 100 power 43 by 99 but you have to replace number with remainder 1 power 43 so 100 by 99 remainder is 1 so I have what I have done I have replaced number with remainder so 1 power 43 is 1 1 by 99 remainder is 1 so can I say any even power of 10 will give you remainder as plus 1 so what we will do we will break this number 313131 uh, in such a way so that we get the even power of 10 so can you see this is first 31 how many digits are there behind this 31 98 digits are there so can I say this is 31 into 10 power 98 as I explained in the previous slides. This 31, second 31, 
how many digits after this 31 96 so this will be 10 power 96 and so on 31 into 10 power 94 31 into last 10 power 2 and finally 31 this whole divided by 99 what will be the remainder that we need to find now you can see that even power of 10 gives remainder by 99 1 so can I say 31 into 1 because I'm just replacing number with remainder this is a number if you divide by 99 the remainder would be 1 31 into 10 power 96 by 99 remainder is 1 31 into 10 power 94 by 99 remainder is 1 10 power 2 by 99 remainder is 1 plus 31 divided by 99 now how many times 31 will come that's a big question because total 100 digits were there 31 is made of two digits so 31 will come 50 times then only it will make 100 digits so can i say this is 31 into 50 by 99 that is the only thing i need to find the now because 31 31 31 31 31 what you have to do you have to give plus minus product as it is in order to find the remainder you have to just replace number with remainder so i just replaced 10 power 98 by 99 remainder 1 10 power 96 by 99 remainder is 1 now how can you solve this 31 into 50 by 99 can I say this is equal to 5, 5 is a 5, 5 is a 1, 5, 5, 0 by 99. Now you can simply find the remainder if you divide this 1, 5, 5, 0 by 99. Now you can see that 99 into 15, 1, 4, 8, 5 is completely divisible by 99 plus 65 divided by 99. This I have broken like this. So 1485 is completely divisible so remainder is 0 and 65 by 99 remainder is 65 so final answer is 65 so very important question this kind of question you can solve in around 2 minutes the only thing is that you must know how to break the numbers and then find the remainder by simply applying the concept that you have to replace number with remainders. Now question 2 is 123 123 123 up to 900 digits divided by 999 find the remainder what would be the remainder now you should please try to solve yourself it, this, this question is based on the same concept as question number one please try to solve yourself that will be online practice for you then look at the way i have sold can i say how i will get remainder one or minus one by when divided by 999 i know that 10,000 by 999 my remainder would be 1 or I can say that 10 power 3 by 999 remainder would be 1 not only 10 power 3 10 power 3 any power any power multiple of you can say that 3 any power multiple of 3 10 power 3k you will get remainder as 1 because 10 power 3k we can break like this 10 power 3 power k so you find the remainder this would be 1 power k by 99 replacing number with remainder so 1 power k is 1 1 by 999 remainder will be 1 so it means that whenever the power is 3 or multiple of 3 that is 10 power i'm talking whenever 10 power is 3 or multiple of 3 divided by 999 the remainder would be 1 and that is how we need to break this number can i say that total are 900 digits this first 123 how many digits are there after this 123 total digits are 900 so if you remove these one three digits you are left with 897 digits this is 10 power 897 next 123 this is 10 power 894 next 23 123 this is 10 power 891 up to 123 into 10 power 3 and finally 123 this is how we'll break this number divided by 999 now you can see that all these powers are multiple of 3 10 power 897 10 power 894 10 power 891 these are all powers that is 10 powers multiple of 3 so what we have to do we have to replace number with remainders applying the same concept 
as I discussed in the basic concept of remainders. Replace number with remainder. 10 power 897 divided by 999 remainder would be 1. So 1 plus minus product will be as it is. 123 into 1. 123 into 1. 123 into 1. Plus 123 divided by 999. You don't have to do in that detail in exam. In exam straight away I will write. I know that power 10 power 3 or multiple of 3 give me remainder 1 so straight away I will write 123 how many times 123 will come total digits were 900 and 123 comprises of 3 digits so 123 will come 300 times then only we will make able to make 900 digits so 123 will come 300 times divided by 999 now you can simply find the remainder. Can I say that 123 into 3, 369 into 100 divided by 999. Can I say this is 3690 into 10 by 999. Now 999 into 4 would be how much? And that you need to find the remainder. 999 into 4. Can I say that 999 into 4? Can I say this 1000? minus 1 into 4 that would be 3996 this 3996 is completely divisible by your 999 now this 3690 can be written as 3996 minus 306 into 10 by 99 now 3996 is completely divisible by 999 so remainder would be 0 so minus 306 will be the remainder from this side into 10 divided by 999 again you have to solve this can I say this is negative of 3060 by 999 keep the minus sign as it is minus 1 now 999 into 3 we know that 999 into 3 would be how much 2997 so remainder would be how much this is 63 so 63 remainder I am replacing number with remainder so also minus sign is there so minus 63 by 999 remainder would be minus 63 now we know that the positive and negative remainder relation is this that magnitude should be equal to divisor so positive remainder would be 999 minus 63 that is 936 plus 936 would be the final remainder when you divide 123, 123, 300 digits divided by 999. You can see that positive and negative remainder the magnitude sum would be 999. So final answer would be 936. The question number 3 is 3456, 3456 up to 400 digits by 101. Now look at the way how you have to solve this, this kind of question in exam and uh, let me tell you how I will solve this question in exam. Now first I will find uh, what will the remainder when number is divided by 101 plus 1 or minus 1. 10 square by 101, 100 by 101 remainder is minus 1 you know that but 10 power 4 divided by 101 can I say this is 10 power 2 power 2 by 101 10 power 2 by 101 remainder is minus 1 minus 1 square by 1 so minus 1 square is 1 so can I say that remainder would be plus 1 so it means that 10 power 4 remainder is by divided by 101 remainder would be plus 1 not only 10 power 4 10 power 4 any multiple of 10 power 4 give me remainder 1 it means 10 power 4 10 power 8 10 power 12 and so on so on so that's how I will break the number number is 3 4 5 6 how many digits are there 400 digits are there so how many digits are left one should take 3 4 5 6 first time now 3 4 5 6 10 power 396 this is power is a multiple of 4 plus 3 4 5 6 into 10 power 392 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 power 4 and finally you will have to 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by 101. Now all this power 10 power 396, 10 power 392, 4 or on multiple of 4. 
and we know that whenever the power of 10 is a multiple of 4 divided this by 101 the remainder would be 1 so what you have to do you have to replace number with remainder keeping all the sign as it is so 3 4 5 6 into 1 3 4 5 6 into 1 3 4 5 6 into 1 plus 3 4 5 6 divided by 101 now this is 3 4 5 6 will come how many times total are 400 digits 1 3 4 5 6 comprise of 4 digits so this will come 100 time divided by 101 now we have to replace number with remainder can i say 3 4 5 6 into minus 1 divided by 101 100 by 101 remainder is minus 1 again can i say that this number 3 4 5 6 can be broken as 34 into 100 plus 56 into minus 1 divided by 101 again replace number with remainder so this is 100 by 101 minus 1 so this will become minus 34 plus 56 into minus 1 this so this was overall this was minus 1 so this is divided by 101 so 34 into 100, 100 by 101 minus 1 the minus 34 plus 56 into whole minus 1 so 56 plus 34 56 plus 56 minus 34 this would be 22 plus 22 into minus 1 by 101 so remainder is minus 22 that is negative remainder so positive remainder would be sum of the magnitude of positive and negative should be 101 so 79 would be the final answer so final answer would be 79 in exam I will straight away write this only I will write this only everything this I will calculate mentally I don't need to write this I'm just writing in order to explain you in verbally I will think that which power of 10 I know that 10 power 4 by 101 remainder would be 1 so straight away in exam I will write this and I will solve this question in under one minute in exam and that is you need to learn how to solve the question in a faster manner by practice and by understanding the concept you will be able to solve so that was all about lesson 4.4 finding remainder by expanding the numbers